The Financial Accounting Standards Board has really been working in the last year or so to try to simplify things for smaller companies. And they've they created this organization called the PCC, which they call the Private Company Council, which uh, created some differential accounting standards for smaller businesses. And they had one where they could allow companies to amortize goodwill. The second one they did allowed smaller companies to uh, have a simplified approach to very common interest rate swaps. And the third one allowed companies an alternative to not elect the variable interest entity standard, which, which was forcing companies under common cr control to, to consolidate sometimes. And then the fourth one, that which just recently issued, related to companies not having to to value, to spend the money and the time to value intangible assets in a business combination. So the question might come up, is, is that a good idea to implement these things? Well, generally the answer would be yes, you would want to implement these standards. But because of the goodwill amortization standard, if you elected that, it would just be time that you didn't have to spend and money and expense in order to, to get this fair value measurement every reporting period. The, um, the, the variable interest en entity standard, companies have not wanted to consolidate these common control leasing LLCs for a long time and now that option is available where, where you don't have to. Well, the newest one with, the, with the, the election not to value intangible assets in a business combination, that just really helps companies because that takes a long time and it's very expensive to, to get those things done. And so generally the answer is yes. There are some caveats there. Obviously, public companies are not allowed to use these PCC alternative standards. They're also not-for-profit entities are allowed to use them, and employee benefit plans are not allowed to use them. There's a few other situations where a company who might be able to use these differential standards wouldn't want to. And that might be in a situation where a company was getting ready to go public, they wouldn't want to do this. Nor if a company was getting ready to sell to another company, they probably wouldn't want to implement these standards. So there's lots of considerations, both good and possibly negative, in implementing these standards, and we'd be happy to talk with you about it.